The Project 11356P-M is a class of Russian frigates designed to succeed the Krivak class. The Grigorovich is also designed off the Talwar class frigates designed for the Indian Navy but built at the same shipyards as the Grigorovich would be. In 2010, it was decided that the Russian Navy was to produce a class of vessel derived off the Talwar class design. The Yantar shipyards won the contract for construction of the frigates and three vessels were completed in four years. Previously, six ships were to be of the same design, known as the Tower, and these were built for the Indian Navy between 1999 and 2011 by the Baltic shipyards, St. Petersburg and also Yantar shipyards in Kaliningrad. There are eight ships planned, with three currently active, whilst three are currently under construction. These vessels are 124.8 metres long, with a beam of 15.2 metres and a draft of 4.2 metres. The vessels would have a displacement of 3,620 tonnes as standard and 4,000 tonnes fully laded. Ship's propulsion system consists of a standard COGAG system of two DS-71 cruising gas turbines, two DT-59 boost gas turbines producing power to two shafts with two propellers on the end of them, with five blades each. The power plant of these ships could also get the ships to a top speed of 30 knots. These vessels are also able to reach 4,850 nautical miles at 14 knots, or 30 days, without replenishment. The vessels are fitted with the following radar and sensor fits. One, top plate early warning radar with built-in IFF. This radar is capable of 360 degree coverage on two separate faces, capable of detecting out to 162 nautical miles, with a vertical detection of 27 nautical miles. This radar operates in the Echo Foxtrot NATO band frequencies. One Garpin Ball navigational radar capable of detection out to 24 nautical miles in normal radar visibility, up to 48.5 nautical miles in high radar visibility, and 135 nautical miles with super refraction. This radar operates in the India band frequencies. One Nyada navigational radar, capable of detection out to 45 nautical miles, and this radar operates in the India band frequency as well. One Kelvin Hughes Nucleus 26000 navigational radar. This is also capable of detecting out to 45 nautical miles and operates again in the India band frequencies. One Puma fire control radar for the 100mm main gun. The maximum detection range of this is 16.2 nautical miles and is able to track and engage two aerial targets, or two service targets at the same time, or able to track eight aerial targets. The radar has an azimuth coverage of 360 degrees, with a coverage of 45 degrees in elevation. Front dome fire control is also carried for the surface-to-air missiles, capable of detecting out to 40 nautical miles. This is able to track surface-to-air missiles to 16.45 nautical miles in altitude. And the ships also carry the Russian standard ESM system of TK-25-5. The ship's weapon system fit is as follows. One 100mm A190 naval gun is an unknown, the range of this weapon, but is capable of a rate of fire of 80 rounds per minute, with a traverse of 170 degrees and an elevation of 75 degrees and can depress down to minus 15 degrees. Two quad vertical launch cells for SSN 27 Sizzler, Yakont, and SSN 33 Zircon and his ship missiles. These capabilities are as follows. SSN 27 Sizzler is able to fire out 300 km with a speed of up to Mark 2.9. This will fly at sea skimming level or 20 meters above the sea level. This weapon uses an active homing head but also requires third party targeting from satellites. Yakont is able to fire out to a target 600 kilometers away at a speed of Mark 2. This will fly at sea skim level or 10 meters above the sea level. Again, this weapon system is guided by an active head seeker. SSN-33 Zircon is a hypersonic anti-ship missile capable of firing out to 270 nautical miles at sea skim level. This weapon will fly at Mark 8 to 9, producing a cloud of plasma around the weapon, absorbing radar waves, making them undetectable by radar. Its guidance system is done by an active seeker head, 
but can also be controlled by the command platform. Two 12-cell vertical launch missile silos for SA-17 Grizzly service to air missiles. These are capable of firing out to 22.6 nautical miles. Two 30mm AK-630 close-in weapon systems capable of an effective range of 6,000 meters with an RPM of 4,500 rounds per minute. These weapons have a 2,000 rounds loaded with an additional 1,000 rounds ready in a ready-to-use bin. Eight Igla man-pad surface-to-air missiles. This weapon system is capable of an operational range of 5.2 nautical miles with a speed of Mach 1.9. Two double 533mm torpedo tubes for set 90 torpedoes and one 12 barrel RBU 6000. This is capable of firing anti submarine mortars at 4.3 nautical miles with a sink rate of 11.6 meters, but it can only sink down to 500 meters. The Grigorovich class was built at Yantar Shipyard in Kaliningrad, as stated before, with vessels being laid down between 2010 and 2013 with all vessels being launched between 2014 and 2017. The ships were commissioned between 2016 and are expected to be as late as 2020. There are six vessels as part of this class, and these are the Admiral Grigorovich, the Admiral Essen, Admiral Makarov, Admiral Budakov, Admiral Istamin, and the Admiral Kornilov. Due to the ships not being commissioned that long, there isn't much information for the service history, but I will cover the information that we do know. On the 3rd of November 2016, as part of a Russian military intervention with the Syrian Civil War, the Admiral Grigorovich was deployed to the Mediterranean for the first time, and on the 15th of the same month, she launched land attack versions of the Caliber anti-ship missile, which is the land attack version, on IS and al Nadara targets in Syria's Idlib and Homs provinces, destroying ammunition warehouses, gatherings, and also trade centers, and also weapon production plants. The Grigorovich was also redeployed to the Mediterranean again in April 2017 following the US missile strikes on Syria. The Admiral Essen is also part of the Mediterranean task group, assisting with the Syrian government forces. Current open source intelligence suggests that the Grigorovich is currently undergoing a refit and repair period alongside in Kronstadt. The Admiral Essen is still operating in the Eastern Mediterranean, operating out of Tartus in Syria. Admiral Makarov is believed to be operating in the Eastern Med as well. Admiral Butakov and Admiral Istoma Istomin have been sold to India, but are awaiting their engines due to political issues with Ukraine not wanting to give the Russians the gas turbines after a certain Crimean incident or issue. And Admiral Kulinov is currently undergoing construction at Kaliningrad alongside the two Indian vessels, and she is too also awaiting her gas turbines. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you learned something new today. If you have, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow the Discord channel to see what's coming up next, and if you really want to, you can also support me on Patreon if you really would like to. There's a few perks with that one, but as always, take care, have a nice day, I shall see you soon.